Well, the Joint Select Committee on Australia's Clean Energy Future is conducting the first of three public hearings today on the federal government's carbon tax plan. The committee will inquire into the Clean Energy Bills and the Steel Transformation Plan Bill proposed by the Gillard government to address climate change, about 18 or 19 bills in all. Anna Burke is the chair of the committee. She's also the member for Chisholm in Victoria and she joins us now from Canberra. Anna Burke, good morning. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Virginia. So the hearings are being held on, well, one was yesterday, uh, from the 21st to the 23rd, the 26th. Submissions had to be, have to be made by, I think, uh, tomorrow, the 22nd. But then you're going to report on or before Friday, the 7th of October. It's not a whole lot of time, is it, for a considered look at some very complex bills? I think there's sufficient time available to look at bills. We've been discussing the nature of climate change and a response to it since 1999. There's been a range of inquiries leading up to these bills that before us now, there was the exposure draft, there was a great deal of inquiry into the exposure drafts. Before that was the joint committee that everybody but the Liberal Party participated in. These bills have been you know, looked over greatly. We are having an in-depth inquiry into the legislation. It exactly mirrors what was done when the Howard government introduced the work choices legislation and I think we'll get a thorough inquiry into the bills. Well, let's say that we even accept the premise of, of what you're saying, that it is thorough and it is enough time and I don't know if people will necessarily accept that. Then there seems to be a flaw in the logic because if, if, if this matter has been as closely considered as you say it has, then there wouldn't be a need for this inquiry now. No, there is an inquiry now because the bills have now come before us and when they're in their final stage, it's imperative that you actually go through those bills. So but much you, but of you previous don't, But you don't, you don't have time and you don't have, just to jump in there, you don't have time and you don't even have the ability to make major changes to those 18, 19 bills anyway. I mean, Greg Com Combo's pretty much said as much when he said that only very minor changes could be made. So I, again, I guess I ask, what's the point? Well, the point is that the legislative process goes through a program and parliamentary committees have a responsibility to scrutinise bills. And we are not going to shy away from the parliamentary responsibilities to scrutinise bills. So we will go through the process in a thorough manner, exactly how the Howard government introduced the work choices legislation. I don't know if you'd necessarily, as a Labor government, be wanting to uh, happily compare yourself to how the Howard government introduces work choices, but nonetheless, it's about... No, it's I'm about... not making that as a happy assumption. I'm drawing the comparison. Well, you're, you're saying there that was, was clearly acceptable to some. It's acceptable to you, is it? No, I'm making the comparison that... This is practice of a parliament where legislation needs to pass the House so that we can get it into action in the next year. The greatest problem with this legislation is bringing about certainty. So much uncertainty is out there. The public, business, manufacturers, coal industry need certainty. We need the bills to be introduced so they can be in law and enacted next year. Look, indeed, but that's really a very separate issue to what we're talking about, which is the role and function of this committee. In essence, it's four days between the committee reporting back and the vote. I mean, in anyone's language, four days for considered redrafting of legislation, which clearly won't happen, is a nonsense. Well, we're going to have inquiries. We're asking people to make submissions. We're going to look at the information. This morning we're meeting with the various departments. Next week in Canberra and Melbourne and perhaps another day of hearings we'll be calling upon expert witnesses. We'll be looking at the legislation. The legislation was put up as an exposure draft. I'm not anticipating a great deal will come out that there is a great deal of change, but we're going to examine it. We're actually going to bring it to the parliamentary process and I will ensure that we present a report that indicates an inquiry into the bills. So you're not anticipating a great deal will come out in, in your words? I'm not anticipating that given the length of time that has already been gone over, the amount of uh, time between the exposure drafts and now, the majority of that information has been out there and considered. But having said that, we are definitely going through this process as a parliamentary committee with uh, representatives from all parties on this and the independents to actually consider these bills. And I won't be shying away from presenting a report that looks at the facts brought before us. Annabelle, while you're here with us, I've just got a couple of other um, issues that I would like to run through quickly with you.